This is a Chucky Beat production. production. Hey guys, the Genius here back with a new video and today I decided to show you guys how to make a website design, a really modern and simplistic uh, website design in Sketch and I already made a tutorial but a different kind of design and this design is uh, inspired by a Twitter designer. Um, he's a web designer, you can go on his Twitter, he makes really good designs and this was inspired by him because like if you see the work he does it's really similar to this and he even made one uh for ea that looks similar to this uh so go check him out he makes uh really nice designs um and with that being said let's begin the tutorial so first thing i did uh go into sketch file new and then um actually you want to go to file new from template and then you want to go into web design because that's the one that's going to suit you the best and click on choose so you want to zoom in into desktop because that's the one that we're going to be designing for first and then you can expand it and do it for tablet and mobile portrait um, that's your choice if you want to make it responsive now first of all you want to go uh, and grab a picture uh, I decided to use this picture of Pogba from uh, FIFA 17 and I'm gonna I'm gonna align the picture with the um, desktop portrait uh, the, the, uh, the desktop and then what you want to do is I'm gonna get my um get my logo so I wanted to use the EA logo since the website is gonna be uh, an EA web design and you want to resize it and you don't want to make it too big so then you want to uh, drag it to the left top corner uh, where it belongs and then black with a dark background doesn't look too good uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it into a gradient so to do that all you have to do is you want to go into um, fill and then you want to click on gradient linear gradient and then for the first color you want to go with like a really bright red and for the second one you can go with a bit darker one and if we click off of it I think it's looking really good right now and moving on I had um tabs as you can see said home games about and more uh, stuff like that so to do that all I did was I just got the text tool and the font is going to be in the description it's a free font so first thing you want to do is all caps you want to type in make sure it's all caps home and I'm gonna resize the text box drag it to the top and I'm gonna press alt to duplicate and then just drag um, however many tabs I need so I'll do do let's say let's do five yeah, that's enough. Um, make sure that the distance between all the text is the same. I'm not going to do that now because it takes some time. And uh, you can do that by just zooming in. And then, let me see. So you want to drag, zoom in, and you can make sure, see, 22, 22. Uh, just keep on doing this until you uh, see that all of them are the same kind of distance from each other so this is the only yeah see now they're all the same distance away from each other now i can change this one to this one can stay as home second one let's say uh games uh third one i'll go with about uh and then contact Uh, and let's do uh, uh, that's social media and let's drag this out so and yeah I think that's looking really good just pull this away from yeah so that's enough and we can zoom out and it's looking really good uh, so far and moving on uh, I had a FIFA 17 thing over here and I also had some text and I'm just gonna copy this text first of all and command C and I'm gonna go back into my new design 
and I'm just gonna paste that in because that was like a dummy text that I need uh, instead of typing something um, real. So FIFA 17 was the title and I'm gonna change the weight of the font and probably the font size too. So go over here, change it from book to let's say medium. Yeah, that's enough. And size, let's say uh, 20. Yeah, that looks nice. Now I'm gonna drag this to the left, resize the text box and make a new text box. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna paste that in command A and we're gonna make this uh, back to light and this is going to be 11. Um, yeah. So this is enough. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to drag this under the title, which is FIFA 17. And it's already looking really good. And that's the thing with simplistic designs. They don't take a lot of time to make. Uh, they're actually easier than making a more complicated design, but they look better and it's easier to navigate through. So that's why I think simplistic designs are a lot better. But now moving on, we're going to add um, some, I think we should add the, let me see, let me go back to the design and yeah, let's add the order now and the view more buttons. So to do those, uh, it was pretty simple. You want to go into shape and click on rounded or you can just press U on your keyboard and it would just appear so hold down shift and create one and this should be enough and then alt and make another one so i'm gonna drag it down to about over here and for the first one i'm gonna change the gradient color to the same gradient to the um as the logo so click on fill and then change it to linear gradient and use this picker tool and pick the first color and then go on the second one again use the same tool uh, eyedropper tool and you want to pick the same color again and for the border i think i'm going to turn that off because it just ruins the look for the second one i'm going to turn that off and just bring down the opacity to about, let's say, 64. That looks really good. Okay. So moving on, I'm going to add text on it. So the first text is going to be uh, order now. And I'm going to change the fill for this text. So click here and then change it to a gradient and pretty much do the same thing you did for the logo and for one of the uh, rounded rectangles and actually this one is going to be white uh, so i'm going to get rid of this uh, this one is going to be white the second one is going to have um, one with a gradient now as you can see you can't see it that's because it's under the rectangle all you have to do is drag it and you can see it now and zoom in and align it to the center of the rectangle um so shouldn't be that hard and press alt and duplicate this text and move it to the next rectangle and i'm gonna change this to let's say um uh, more games but since the rectangle is transparent uh, white doesn't look too good. Um, you can barely see it. So I'm going to change uh, the color to a gradient now. So to do that, all you have to do is uh, select it. You can use command A or just double click on it. And then uh, go to, um, let's say fill. And we're going to change the second gradient to a darker red. And it should change now. And yeah, it's looking really nice right now in my opinion. Now moving on, I think we had some kind of text and a rectangle here and that was really easy to create, although it might seem like it's kind of hard or something. If you are new to the software, uh, it's really easy to make. Go to shape. You can use a line tool or a rectangle tool. I prefer using a line tool um, and then you want to hold down shift. Okay. 
and then drag down, make a rectangle kind of thing or a line and increase the thickness to about seven. And I'm changing the color to red or a bit darker. Yeah, so that looks nice. And I'm going to add some text. So I'm just going to use the same text I used here. Uh, no need to get a new one since this is just a dummy website so make a new text box uh, paste it in and then we're going to change the alignment because it doesn't look too good right so align it to right to the right uh actually i think i missed now nah, actually that's good and drag this a bit and yeah i think we should make the font smaller to like let's say 10 yeah that's that looks good now I'm gonna duplicate this alt drag and go a bit behind don't make it on the same line and we're gonna drag this down over here too and actually it's looking it's looking good I just dra just drag it down a bit more and we're gonna decrease the opacity for these two because they're not selected uh, 50 77 is good do the same thing with this select it 77 enter and it should decrease the opacity do the same thing with the text alt drag and then you want to do the same thing we're going to decrease the opacity uh, because again it's not selected it's not so the only one that's selected is the middle one so i'm going to make the font even smaller for these two nine and this is going to be 9 too. And you want to decrease the opacity to 42. Yeah. Decrease it to 42. Uh, 42. Enter. And we're almost done with the website. It's looking really nice so far. Now moving on, we just need to add the banners for the two games over here. And to do that, go to my desktop tutorial resources because that that's where I saved all the pictures. I have a battlefield um, cover art, and then I also have one for FIFA. Drag it, and then we're gonna place it here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Just resize it first of all, um, and then drag it down a bit. Actually, I'm going to zoom in and make sure these two are aligned and look good because right now it doesn't seem like they're on the same line. So yeah, do this, uh, see what looks good, resize it and make them the same size. Uh, you don't want one of them to be bigger than the other one. Uh, and then select the pictures and I'm going to add a shadow, a drop shadow. So click on the plus one plus on the drop shadow and do it to the second picture too and you don't need to mess with the settings as it just looks good with the default one and yeah we're almost done i just added an arrow at the bottom uh pointing down for the um one i made before and how i did that was i just got the line one and the line tool from the shapes drag drag it dia uh, diagonally and then you're gonna uh, alt and then you want to duplicate this same thing you'll duplicate it like like this and right click transform and you want to click on flip horizontal and it's gonna flip it and all we have to do now is you just have to um, you just have to change the color so I'm gonna change it to red uh, shift click on both and change the color to red and that is basically it for this uh, website design simplistic looks really nice um uh, if someone saw this it looks like it took a lot of time to make uh if they don't know anything about graphic design or web design or something but it actually it's actually really easy to make but at the same time really effective because it looks really nice and that is it for today's video and i'll see you guys on the next episode of uh, hacksaw creator